everyone um yeah i've been absent for a little bit i was going to do a few videos but i was so cross and so angry and so pissed off with people in general that i was not in the right mood to do any filming whatsoever i could sit here and do what several other white tubers have done and talk about black lives matters i'm not going to because there are far better people for you to be listening to about Black Lives Matter, about why injustice is so important to be rid of, why prejudice is still part of our lives. So please go and check out booktubers that I'm linking to in the description box in my videos for the foreseeable future for now. Um, support them, support our black booktubers, support our black book community, authors, publishers, independent bookshops, uh, booktubers themselves, book bloggers, because our world is white. Let's face it, the algorithms are geared towards a certain demographic and it's up to us as a community to say no, we're not accepting that and we are going to support black booktubers. We are going to support people of colour booktubers. We are not going to the default white girl. So please, do your part. Go and watch them. Go and support them. Go and read their blogs. Buy their books. That's all I'm saying on it. Because the onus is on us to do better. Back to the things I love talking about. I hate prejudice. I hate racism. I love books. With that frame of mind, this is a little book haul. Yeah, I know. Um, What month are we in now? June? Okay, yeah, so what, third month of lockdown? And looking likely for me I won't actually be back in work until September when schools officially sort of go back and I'm sedating it now our government will insist that schools open up as normal begin September with no social distancing and no PPE I can almost guarantee it so pray for us so I have a book haul. This is June's book haul. I know there's another week in June but I can't see myself ordering any books next week because all the books I want to get come out in July um, and there are some biggies in July coming out that I really badly have to have my hands on. So these are my June books. Like I said I'm not planning on getting anything else. I couldn't face going to the bookshop. I was going to go and walk into town. I was going to do the whole put the scarf around my face, I'm just going to support my local bookshop because it's open up. I am denied about it seriously for four days. Am I doing this? And it's like, hold on, I could support my local bookshop, which is a Waterstones, by ordering from Waterstones. I could support Blackwells, which I've got one in Oxford, by ordering online from Blackwells. I have been doing that. I think there's been three or four books that I've actually bought off Amazon because I've not been able to get hold of them. Otherwise, it's gone through a proper bookshop. I did seriously consider going in to my local bookshop. I just, I couldn't justify an unessential trip into town to visit one shop. I just, I couldn't justify it. And with the case numbers still quite high it's not worth the risk i'm i'm not doing that to other people i know i am not in the category that is at high risk or anything you know i am a perfectly healthy four-year-old girl you know i am not the i i'm not the covid category group but i could give it to someone else i could spread it to someone else and i'm not willing to do that so that's why if you don't need to go out shopping don't go out shopping people don't need to. God, when did this turn into a rant video? Sorry. <laughs> anyway, these are the books I picked up this month. So, Wonderscape, this is by Jennifer Bell. This is described as Jumanji meets Ready Player One. It's a middle grade book that Gavin from How to Train Your Gavin pointed out a couple of months ago and I thought, that sounds awesome. I want to read that. Never mind my kids. I want to read that. So I'm really looking forward to, you know, playing through this one at some point but yeah and i love the imaginative of the cover it's just so cool covers these days are so cool i finally picked up down among the sticks and bones by shauna mcguire these are short novellas so you can get through that in a couple of hours um unless it's really really hot and then you know three or four hours this is a portal fantasy series about children who fall through to other worlds um, the first book 
every heart a doorway, follow some of those children when they come back into our world and they go to a school to help them to acclimatise back to our world. Down Among the Sticks and Bones is like a prequel where we meet Jack and Jill, who we know from this book, and we find out where they went and what happened to them in this book. Next up I picked up The Sound of Stars by Alicia Dow. This is a sci-fi YA book. Um, we've been invaded, it, you know, massive failure on our part, we've basically been taken over and everything that makes us human has been banned. So art, theatre, books, music. And in this world we have Ellie who has a secret library. She can't bear to destroy her books, there's been book burning and everything. She has a secret library that she's been lending out to some people in her apartment uh, just to keep them going, to give them some form of hope. She meets an alien called Morris who loves music. In his species, that is a big no-no. His people do not show emotions and Morris is not like the rest of his people. He loves music. He is not afraid of his emotions. And so it's about these two very different people coming together and trying to figure out how they're going to save the earth. I'm really loving it. I've got a little bit of um, Daisy Jones and the Six vibes because we keep having little interludes with interviews of a band of a particular album, The Sound of Stars. So I'm getting a little bit of those vibes. I am a third of the way to go. And I'm, I have to say, I really love this. It's really easy to read. It's told from Ellie and Morris's points of view. It's really clever and it says a lot and I'm really, really loving this so much. So I highly recommend this, particularly if you're not sure about sci-fi. I think this might work for you. I've picked up the third Firefly book. This is The Ghost Machine by James Lovegrove. Uh, we love Firefly hugely in this house. My husband has just read book one in the series and I loved it as much as I did. So the plan is to pick these up as they come out because otherwise we won't get them. So this was a must buy. Um, the next one I think is due in October, I have to check, but that's being picked up as well. The Empire of Gold by S.A. Charokboti. I think that's how I pronounce her surname, but please don't have a go at me. I am rubbish at pronunciation. Um, I stumble on so many very simple words, so it's not on purpose. The Empire of Gold is the third and final book in the Devabad trilogy series. Um, I have just finished The Kingdom of Copper and I needed a breather before I start this one because Kingdom of Copper, wow. But the trilogy is a fantasy, I'm going to say adult, it's not, I know it's sort of in the YA bit but I'm going to say it's more adult than YA because there's a lot more going on than what you would consider from a YA book. And it discusses so much. It's um, a mixture of gods and humans and prejudice and racism and slavery and magic and love and loss and betrayal and grief. This, this series is huge and I know everybody is raving about it but seriously if you want a fantasy series to really get your teeth into and sit there and go actually should I be rooting for this character or not this is a series for you. I I absolutely love it. What can I say? And the final book I've picked up this month is an Expanse graphic novel. This is Origins, um, which is based on the books by James S.A. Corey. And so these tell the, I would say, the immediate sort of events before the first book, Leviathan Wakes, and the TV series for all the main characters that you can see on here. So Holden, Miller, Naomi, Amos, Alex. Everybody gets their own short story. The artwork looks pretty clean. I haven't read it yet, but I'm looking forward to just getting my teeth into these because I love graphic novels. But if you like The Expanse, there you go. So yeah, I'm trying to keep my book hauls under control because I'm trying to also read what I buy. I'm doing pretty well. I would say I've read over half of what I've actually bought already since the beginning of lockdown, so that's pretty good. What have you been buying in June? Um, obviously, I'm aware the big book missing on my pile is A Song of Wraiths and Ruin. It's not out yet in the UK. That's the only reason I haven't picked it up. It's one of those July buys. 
Um, but is there any other books that you've brought this month and you think, actually, Sabrina needs to be reading this? Please let me know in the comments down below. And thank you for putting on my ranting and my raving because I'm starting to go a little bit... Hee! Um, so yeah. Um, as always, in the description box down below is a link to my book blog, my social media links for Goodreads, Twitter and Instagram are down there as well and is a link to a black booktuber. Please go and subscribe to them, watch their videos. Don't just subscribe and walk away. Please do watch videos. Um, thank you to all my new subscribers. I have noticed you, thank you very much. And thank you to all my regular viewers, as always. It's appreciated that someone else is interested in what I've got to say. Thank you very much. And as always, happy reading. Be well. <laughs>